Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Farming Simulator 22 Landowner RP. Now, as you can see right now, we are on the front porch of a house, but it's not our house. I kind of fumbled a little bit in the last episode and I said we were staying in a hotel. This is actually the Airbnb we've been staying in, but don't worry about that because this was our, officially, we just woke up, it's like, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning. This was our last night here because yesterday... Our, let's call it, I hesitate to say tiny house because it's a little bit smaller than a tiny house. It's more like, it's it's just, it's not a tiny house, it's just tiny. Um, it arrived, and now we have the ability to head on over to it, take a look at it, and of course continue working a little bit more on the property itself. So, let's get in the truck, let's fire it up, and why, why what, what are you, what are you guys waiting for? I'm not in the road. I'm not in the... You know what? If y'all want to sit there, that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm going to head up the road a little bit. Sorry about your hedge. And I'm going to head up the road a little bit and find a place to make a U-turn because I'm not trying to, like, you know, immediately violate 15 million traffic laws right out of the gate. So let's see. Is there going to be anywhere to... You know what? Instead of making a U-turn, is there any traffic behind me? There's a little bit of traffic a good ways back. Let me back in here and just kind of circle back out. Oh, they even turned off down the other road. Oh, even better. Yo, how often does that train run? Yo, that train runs a lot. All right. Dang, that the trains are freaking active around here. All right. Little yield to nothing on our way into the roundabout. Sometimes this roundabout is busy and other times it's just not. Like, not at all. Now, you gotta be careful coming into town here with these pedestrians crossing the streets because the brakes on this truck are certifiably horrible. They're actually legitimately bad, and I haven't quite figured out how to best describe the brakes yet other than genuinely awful. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, y'all walking real slow. <laughs> I love how they go... But they're like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Are you gonna go? Or are you gonna wait? I guess you're gonna wait. All right. I, I've waited. A, I, I think I've waited a long enough amount of time. If, if they were gonna go, they would have gone. All right. Let me roll on down this road just a little bit. We'll get through the neighborhood as we do. And like I said before, we are now for the moment going to be living in our new... I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to reveal what it is right out of the gate, because I don't know, depending on what you guys have already seen or not, you may have seen what it is, you may have not seen what it is, but just in case you haven't, I'm not going to spoil it. Because, like I said, it's a bit smaller than a tiny house. It's pretty dang small. Alright, let's go ahead and head up the driveway. I feel like I need to reiterate this, but this is the temporary driveway. And as you can see, here is the current state of the plot of land, and that is my new house, or rather, shed, or rather, humble abode. This is uh, where we are starting out. This is, you know what? Hey, if it works, it works, and yes, it does have a house trigger, and yes, we can sleep here. Now, can we actually physically go inside it? No, but don't tell anybody. All right. Now, we will be using this as our temporary uh, living space as we develop the surrounding area. But again, don't worry. We will be upgrading our living situation at some point soon. I do find it absolutely hilarious, though, that we were able to get away with this. All right. Let's take down some of these trees, especially some of the ones that are really close to where we're kind of working. So let's go ahead and rotate you around. I'm going to have to get something out here to grind these stumps up, but... We'll get you down, and then let's see. What's going to be next? Do I want to take this one down? I feel like this one looks really, really good. I'll leave it alone for now. It's not too close to my work area. So we'll take this one down as well. Oh, if we can. There we go. And pretty dang near right on the ground. And there it goes. Thank God it fell away from the, I almost said the tiny house, but rather the shed. I mean, it, let's call it what it is. It's a shed. And, and there's, there's no getting around, uh, 
its, um, shedness. Alright, let's go ahead and line that up, try to get it to go to the left. I don't know if it actually will go to the left. I'm usually not the- Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, I'm usually not the greatest at planning these out. Um, I do really want to get a wood chipper over here. That way we can chip up all this stuff and we can sell it. And that's a whole heck of a lot easier than, uh, than chopping it up into individual pieces, you know? Alright, go ahead and get that done. And this one is pretty close to the edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop this one as well. We'll just make sure that it's going away from our equipment, because we don't need it to be on the driveway. We don't need it to fall on the mower. We don't need it to fall on anything that we need to use later. All right. So we've got all that said and done, and I do plan on adding some, like, ornamental trees back into this area a little bit later, so don't worry about that. And again, like I said, this driveway will eventually be paved, so that's also gonna be, like, majorly in the works. Oh, you fell directly in the driveway, didn't you? Thankfully, you're light enough that I can actually pick you up and move you around. Alright, so we'll put you over there, and then now, we need to kind of get a little bit of this under control. We need to get the stumps ground up, we need to get our hands on a wood chipper, and then we also need to get our hands on something that can get rid of these, uh, these bushes, because the fact that that mower couldn't get rid of the bushes is, uh, actually really annoying and really frustrating, and I was really hoping it would be able to get rid of the bushes, but I think we'll be, hopefully anyway, able to figure out a way to get rid of those pretty soon. And to make sure that none of those pesky trees or stumps last very long, at the new property, I've picked myself up a bobcat and a tree be gone mini. Now, I love how it, by the way, I love how it actually has this little mini designation right here. And you see these on the front? Yeah, those are the teeth of doom, and they spell doom for literally any tree that stands in its way. So, we're gonna go ahead and put the trailer legs down, and once we get them down, we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing up there on the trailer and head on home. Now, I say home, I mean, well, to the house, more like to the shed, but I promise that eventually that will change. All right, let's make our way on back, and Let's see if we can get you... Oh, we're gonna have to get this guy hoisted up. There we go. Let's ease you up onto the trailer. This trailer really is just about the perfect size for this kind of stuff. I was back and forth, by the way, between whether I wanted this thing with tracks or wheels, but I'm pretty happy I got it with tracks. I think it looks pretty sick with the tracks. All right, let's go ahead and shut you down. And boom, you are good to go. That's actually a really sick looking setup though. We got the 6-0, we've got the which actually the 6-0 needs washed really bad. We've got the 6-0, we've got the uh we got the bobcat on the trailer. This, I mean, dude, I'm I'm very happy with this. Like this is awesome. This is so sick. All right, we've got it fastened down. Now we're going to go ahead and turn around real quick and head right on back to the property and start uh grinding up any of those stumps that were left over and also some of the trees that I may or may not want to turn into wood chips. I don't know if we'll worry about that just yet. I know I, I said something about, you know, making wood chips earlier, but I don't know if that's where I want to focus all of my efforts right now. You know what I mean? Let's make sure nobody's crossing. They're almost all the way through. They're not on my side, so we're fine. At least in Farming Simulator we are. Man, you can really see how dirty the bed of this thing is getting, though. It really needs to get a good clean... I need to buy a pressure washer. Ooh, careful of that trailer. That trailer's trying to pass you. There we go. I guess that's what I get for rolling through there at 50 Gs. All right. Whoa. Not 50 Gs as in G-forces, but like 50 Gs. That's quick or faster than you would probably think you would be going through a turn like that with a trailer like this, which it's not advisable, let me tell you that. All right, let's go and get this thing all parked up. And once we're good to go, we'll test out our new Tree Be Gone device. Alright, so let's see. We'll go ahead and unfasten those belts. Unfold the ramps. Go ahead and let that complete real quick. And boom! Alright, it is Tree Be Gone time. I am very excited for this. Alright, let's hop in. And now, we'll get you up. Or if that allows me to actually move it. Oh, I see what it's trying to have me do. I just wasn't actually holding down the proper trigger. All right. 
I think we're gonna head directly for this one up ahead. All right, so let's go ahead and lower you down just a little bit. Still getting used to the controls on this thing. All right, there we go. That's pretty much in the ground. I don't know if I want it that low, but turn on tree be gone. Oh my God, that's legitimately terrifying. Well, man, if I was a tree and I saw that coming, I would sprout legs and run. Oh my God. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of, uh, there's definitely a bit of tree be gone happening right now. Come on. Yo, this is legitimately grinding the whole thing up. Oh my god, it's eating it! <laughs> wow! It's eating it! This is insanity. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... I know this is only the mini. I'm gonna need to get me the bigger one. Because I can only imagine what the bigger one is capable of. What happens if I just approach a normal tree? It's gonna raise you up a bit. And up you go, up you, whoa, up you go again. Oh boy, this is a bad idea. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh my god. Well, I guess they don't call it tree be gone for nothing, huh? Will it get, wait a minute. Oh, will you grind up those, um, those like annoying bushes? Maybe? No, they just come back, don't they? I'm gonna bury this thing into the ground and see if it'll actually get rid of these bushes. Nope. The bushes and the, uh, the grass just come back. Okay, Farming Simulator, let's go. Yep, time for more tree be gone. Send it. What happens if you hit it from the side right here? That's gonna be... Is that gonna work better or worse? Looks like worse because it's not doing anything for me now. It's legitimately like it stopped actually doing anything for me. All right, spin yourself around. And yeah, all right, that's when, that's when it actually works. If you give it like partial throttle, dude, it eats the freaking tree. This is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I needed too. I love how if you literally approach a tree that's already, like, standing up from the base, it's just zoink, it's just gone. Almost there, almost at the top. Oh, come on. Come on, you are almost there, dude. You are almost there, and boom! I really don't want to get rid of this one, though, because that one is, like, it's really nice, it's just chilling. There's a random branch, I'll deal with the branch later. I know there's a stump over here that I wanted to get rid of. There it is. Yep, you're done. Oh, I love how it didn't even slow me down. It's just like, zoink, done. Oh yeah, that stump. Yeet. All right, hold on, let me spin this around just a little bit. And back it up. And then now we can just literally slide right across this tree with this thing and it'll just tear it directly apart. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I know we haven't gotten rid of the actual, like, you know, the brush and stuff around the, uh, the property. But if there's any invasive trees ever again, they will not last. They absolutely will not last. Can we go backwards with it? Oh, actually, yes, we can. Anything the tree be gone touches is literally gone. Oh, what are you doing? Where's my... Oh, there, it just disappeared. Okay. Well, we've cleared this out quite a bit. I'm gonna turn off the tree be gone. And now let's lower you back down and actually raise it up a little bit so we have a little bit of extra mobility with it. All right, let me drive back out onto the property itself and kind of go over some of my plans with y'all. So the idea here, at least the idea that I have going forward is that eventually like, we'll expand, well I say eventually soon, we'll expand this a little bit more We'll have it cleared out a little bit more, and we'll get some of these, like, we'll get some of these other trees out of the way. I want to keep some of them just for view purposes, but I still need to figure out where I want to put the house. But for now, this is, I think this is actually really good progress, because not only did we get rid of some of the trees around the property, we actually got them, like, chopped up, they're gone, they're good to go. And we've also introduced you guys to my current, um... 
It's not even a tiny house, it's a micro house. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Farming Simulator 22 in my landowner roleplay, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.